Hi Scorpio, welcome on my YouTube channel, Beauty Master of Scorpio, welcome for this year ahead reading for 2024. Guys, keep in mind this is a general reading, probably what not resonate for all of you, but if you do like my channel, please like, share and subscribe. I would be very thankful and grateful to support my channel. If you want to have a prayer reading with me, you'll find all the information on my description box below for a prayer reading. Now let's jump in, let's see what's going on. I'm with many, many followers, they ask me, yes, please do the uh, year ahead reading for 2024. This is the only video for this week I will upload because it will take a little bit of time. Then tomorrow I will upload uh, for the Italian uh, language, for Italian Scorpio babies out there. And uh, yes, yeah, so now I thought to really do that to you, for you guys. Uh, I usually I don't do the year uh, ahead reading, but somehow I, I thought now this is good for you. It's good for to know what will somehow will present. The only thing, Scorpio, you know how I'm, how I'm working with time. Tarot time can be um, not really really punctual at the time that I make the tarot that I going to read the energy. Sometimes can be either one day before or after, sometimes can be either uh, a couple of weeks um, ahead or back, you know. So try to be um, flexible with time, uh, Scorpio. Um, the time we are guided with the divine, I say that all the time, uh, the divine and, and the dest that destiny will provide to give that to us when it's the right time. To, to welcome the energy, good or bad. So you know how I work. This is very, very important. I take this uh, very, very serious. Next week, as Scorpio, I come in with something also very special. Then next week, I will upload again two readings for you guys, one on uh, Wednesday and the other one on Thursday, as always. But next week, I will do um, the by until through the end of the year. Uh, this is include uh, Christmas and uh, the New Year, um, and and this is for me really really important also to do it, and then plus um, the check in um, check in um, energy for the non Thursday. By the end, I will do everything, but let me know if you are interested. By the end of December, between um, after Christmas, like say, let's say between 20th, 27th and, uh, and the 30th, probably, probably could be also the 31st, depends, I don't know when, let me know if you want to go live, to chat, to probably also to put some tarot, what's going on there. I will not be in Switzerland. I will be, or I will be out from Switzerland and um, let me know if you want to go live with me so you can ask me some questions, I can ask you some questions also and to so chat also what happened on this year um, so you can tell me what happened on your life which you do all the time so I thank you so much that you trust me and you trust this channel Scorpio really really appreciate it a lot uh, this, this is, uh, it means a lot to me really I need to say that um, if you wanted to go live, uh, will be really an uh, will be really an honor for me, um, because I really want to take also time uh, going live the first time on this channel. Right now, Scorpio, take a drink, take a <laughs> glass of water, coffee, a cup of tea, a wine glass. I don't know where you are in the world. Let me know. Um, I'm always very curious where you are. For who doesn't know, I'm located in Switzerland. It's um, for who doesn't know who is where is Switzerland, but I think that the most of you guys know it's a very little kind of <laughs> kind of uh, country in the middle of Europe. Um, we are between uh, France, it Italy, German, and uh, Austria. So, uh, but I'm origin from Italy. So, um, but. So that you know from if you know if you know you know, <laughs> you know for people that doesn't know that are the first time chatting in on this channel. Scorpio. All right. Now, like I said, take a drink. It will be a little bit a big late, big, long reading. 
Um, I will do first the over energy for the whole year for 2024 Scorpio um, and then I go month by month putting the, um, uh, the sign for example the first one will be copy and I will go one on one on one one by month month by month um, and I will put one card oracle card um, romantic card angel card tarot card and keeper card and uh, by the end I will clarify with my also with my little um, tarot card for the whole reading for the whole month now for the whole year I want to first start um, with um, with this uh, with this uh, planet Mars Pluto the first house which is you first house means this means to you and the eighth house it's eighth house is Scorpio and then I will start with uh, with a sign one by one by one by one month by one month by month now <laughs> all right I start now here if you I want to let you see what for what I'm starting to clarify I'm starting to put now the energy of and I'm starting now first with the oracle cards let's see for the overall energy for 2024 Mars first house eighth house and Pluto awareness number one solitude fulfillment and wishes and emotional loss number five you have two nine you have a one and you have a five very spiritual by the way we cannot forget this year um, I think in September we will have an eclipse the first eclipse on Pisces um, this will be uh, also very significant but um, September could be also uh, Virgo uh, the nine uh, nine nine uh, numerology nine one and five and triumph underneath number seven all right let's count nine and nine 18 and five uh 20 what i said 99 18 18 23 24 it's a six six could be soulmate six could be uh lovers um six could be also in june could be also very important six could be a very significant important for you six could be also planets if when we have a plan such of plan planet on one side it could be also if I don't mistake, if I remember well, I don't know, I don't remember if, if it's in April or in May we will have a plan of stallion in uh, Taurus. Now I don't remember if it will be on the middle of April, on the 8th could be, or in May when Uranus and, um, and Jupiter will be conjunct, there could be also. Okay, what I see right away for your over energy um, Scorpio for the 2024, you will have you know like uh, something genius like something that it will be so extremely like a like the um, a, something genius an idea could be an idea could be a new project could be something that will change a big thing on your life scorpio could be um it's something that will starting to happen out of nowhere uh, I see here also that with wish fulfilled and uh, solitude could be also that you need time also after this project or before you start in this project more time for yourself Scorpio it's because you feel here like I have a lot to do it's something you tell me I have a lot to do it will will be very stressed out but I think whatever you go to do could be a project could be something very they maintains you very busy that will occupy your life in a very strong manner uh, Scorpio um, sometimes you don't have time uh, to for your loved one 
for the people that you are, they are close to you. But we cannot forget also Saturn is in our fifth house. So this is like, if you want it, you can have it, but you have to be very uh, serious about it or bring in more hard work. So bring the hard work, we will reward you. So this is uh, the first thing for the Oracle card. Now I put the angel card. And I take also four like the first house, the, uh, the first house, the eighth house, Pluto and, uh, and Mars. Please give me for these four cards, awareness, fulfillment, emotional loss and solitude. Choose a new direction on the knees. And by the way, triumph, I forgot to tell you. So it's something, if you want it, you can have it. You need to put more work, more hard work could be. And it's something like, um, if, you know, when you see that life in a different way, for example, if you want to be, uh, you want to have fun, have joy, like the fifth house, like in the Saturn in the fifth house, um, you will have your capacity to have fun. Yeah, fun house but different the the way we um that you are perspective you will see enjoyment and fun on this year will be very very different could be also that the six like i said before with the numerology could be the six uh, number of your year new your year number could be also go check it in um, if you don't know your year number mine for example is the eight year um this year uh, will be sextile the six could be also something that if you want to achieve something that you will do it go check also the six um the six uh wait a second bear with me number six year what means google it's full it's full youtube it's also full so go check what means having having the year six uh but it's love for many of you it's love the six all right the angel card i have in the new future helpful people reconsider and it's up to you it depends like i said again scorpio we i think we talk about this year that will change something that your um your joy you're having fun um the pleasure how you play how you how the way you're having fun this year will change complete how last year means this year in 2023 i think people that they are here to helping you out i think that you have asked because they will get uh they will helping you um i think also in the new future in the new future this is some only thing by the january i think this like i said it's, it's um, the year i had and this will become I think more and more when we are starting to have um, going to the um, spring here in the north atmosphere. Reconsider, I think, I think Scorpio, whatever you do right now for living or whatever you are right now, I don't think that you expecting that this will happen on this year in 2024. And of course, it's up to you all the time. We have, we have. Um, the free willing Scorpio to to manage uh, our life how we want it. We cannot forget we are the, our own creator of our life. So we create our life how we want it. We stay with people with who we want to stay with. Um, we put effort if we believe in something. We are the Michelangelo of our life. All right. Now, I put a keeper card. Four keeper card. Give me please four keeper card for the. Over energy. No, give me, oh, that one. All right. Change. Unexpected income. Give me reconsider. Community. Mature man. Okay. And thief. Uh, Twenty-four means six. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what, like I said, you remember in the beginning I said, it, it feels here that you have like something genius, like an idea that you have to be very careful with who you're talking about, uh, Scorpio, with who you can trust. 
you need I don't know it could be also a project or could be change of work change of something here but for sure the change will take place nine again Scorpio could be that you will be relocated this year could be that you are moving in another country another city there could be also this will help you out to make more money to increase your salary to increase your material world and again reconsider means like, like the community it's here for you but, but i don't know why i feel that you will change somehow uh, your city or your country somehow you will be go uh, moving somewhere else please <clears throat> or there could be also that you want to open up an office and business um, if you're an entrepreneur you're going to change or you will be um, make yourself bigger make bigger this company that could be also a mature man I think here I don't know why if I feel here that someone want to invest on you believes on you believes on, on what you do but that could be also love mature man is someone that is coming into a way that um, it's mature don't have to be a person of course but I think I think it's a, it's a person here either it, either you are a man Scorpio it's a as like mature uh, person mature person for you all right now I put uh, romantic oracle cards give me please four romantic oracle cards for the energy Deception, <clears throat> forgiving and learning, wedding, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, okay, and children on their knees. I don't know if you have children, Scorpio, but it could be also that you will get pregnant this year for who want to have children. Uh, children has a big role on, on this year six could be also children um, deception someone is warning a false self mask in this relationship so I think like I said you have to be very careful who you trust uh, Scorpio no one or uh, they have good intention one about when it's about money when it's about um, profit so be careful there mm. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Uh, for example, what I have to learn um, until this year, because I want to bring that to my next year, Scorpio, I'm talking now very personal, exp what I'm going through right now. I have to forgive someone very specific, uh, forgiving them, forg they, forgiving myself because I gave the energy to to um, playing around uh, with my heart space so I have to forgive them I have to forgive myself so I can move ahead in 2024 um, relaxed and clean very clean so that's why I know from my personal experience and with the deception I know that also people they are sneaking around people that um, they love our power they are vampire scorpio and um be careful be careful because you know when we say in italy um chi vuole chi accarezza vuole l'anima that means who who um you know who's touching or who is giving a hug they want to have your soul so be careful who you really trust scorpio wedding I almost were expecting that um, Scorpio I think also with this mature man I don't know for some of you most not everybody of course not want to get married or they they have interest of get married getting married many people they are still married but I think here it's a wedding belt I'm wondering when this will be on this year but um, that's why the community also probably also when you are reconsidered could be that you were already married uh, Scorpio like I I was I was already married also uh, if you want to recon be reconsidered to get married again for example 
uh, in community if you want to stay there because the change you will have if you want to stay there or you want to be relocated like I said could be also you making a business a new business or you will be relocated with this new person or with a significant person and heart to heart uh, conversation here honestly discuss your feeling with each other I think it will be very romantic, uh, very romantic here, uh, Scorpio. I think it will open up a lot um, your perspective of life. Now I go to put four in uh, intimacy um, uh, tarot cards. Let's see, my love team, please give me four for this over energy for 2024. Uh, two of cups, wow. All right, two of cups. Give me more. The king of pentacles. The nine of pentacles. And the king of cups. And the ace of pentacles. Like it came to. All right, I take it. Wow, well, <clears throat> and underneath uh, the Three of Cups. For some of you, it could be a reconciliation, um, Scorpio. Uh, could be very, very, uh, could be true, yes. Could be a, a reconciliation. Could be um, like someone is officializing uh, the love they have for you. Someone, because I have two kings. I have the King of uh, Pentacles and the King of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> someone here, you know, could be a reconciliation for some of you. And who doesn't want to know and who closed the relationship uh, on the past? The ex is, stays ex, for example. So I expect someone here that want to really make something firm. Like I said, for me, now it's very masculine. In masculine men change uh, the rules, right? Uh, could be someone that's having also very masculine in their chart but this energy here um, is it's meaning to stay like I said I see marriage <clears throat> I see stability I see probably also buying home relocate let's buy let's sell let's go let's make something a dream like a dream is coming true because with the wish and fulfill uh, Scorpio <clears throat> something for sure will change big time the, your life big time um <clears throat> again if you're not interested to get married this is officialized getting serious and if you didn't want to have something serious you will be serious in uh, in 2024 like i said 2024 let's count let's count 24 it's a it's a six are you kidding I didn't, I didn't notice that because when, yeah, of course you can take also the two, which is then two and two is a four and four, it's a eight. That's why I said to you, I'm in number eight, but we know that we are in 2000, right? So most of the time you're taking the last two, the last two, um, um, year, you take the last two number and this is the year, it's a six. This is love. It's a soulmate. It's a um, lovers. It's a lovers reading. A lovers, a uh, lover um, tarot from the tarot card now. But I, you know, I see somehow Scorpio, your life stabilize, setting down, stabilize, be organized. Now I'm going to put. Now I'm going to put now this one and then we starting to st with the month. Give me please a uh, four card please for the over energy for my Scorpio babies. King of Pentacles again. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Third and Seven of Pentacles. I think that this will take place I think like still by the winter here in North atmosphere, in the South atmosphere, in the, during the summer. Um, and when we have then the switch from the winter to, um, to the spring, 
this is when you know when you're starting to settle down everything will be feels very normal every like daily basis very normal and then like i said and then i think from april on we will have many planets very significant planets in april um a solar eclipse uh, many things will change also in april um, pluto is going also to aquarius so you know the switch the shift will be very very strong we will feel it um and I don't know if I told you, Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Chariot, Seven of Pentacles. And again, I think we talk about money, invest, uh, how much you want to invest, in which direction you go. Again, Chariot, it's reconciliation, um, not reconciliation, how do you call that? Um, moving in other country, moving in other city, be relocate, movement, positive movement, but with someone close to you. You will not do this by yourself. Of course, for some of you, it could be also that you will be commit uh, with a business partner, you will be have a business partner close to you. But for some of you, it's a, for many of some, no, for many of you, Scorpio, it will be a business partnership, but also a person, a constructive, constructive person, like a person that wants to commit to you. A uh, beautiful thing, uh, Scorpio, I need to say that. Um, let me know if so far let me know please on the comment uh, i'm chatting with you right now let me know if uh, this resonates what you think that if you have also intuitive instinctly uh, is something that you can expect also let me know for sure also money is involved scorpio um big thing is are happening for sure all right now we start from january on let me organize here just quick my cards and then we start with january with capricorn here and and here all right now i go to mix again the cards And by the way, hit the like button, Scorpio. I know like you always do, but this helped me to let like, grow this channel, Scorpio. Uh, never forget, please, to like, to share, to comment. Comment, please. I'm, I love when you guys, re uh, you write me. All right, so now let's start. Let's see what's going on. We start with January with Capricorn. Now I will start first with the Oracle card. All right, my loved one, my loved team, please give me for January for Scorpio. What Scorpio can expect? Solitude. All right, number nine, it came from before, and patient planning underneath. I put now, I think that with the solitude we had on our over energy. I think that January will be, like I said before, will be a month that will be, you know, you starting the, the new year very kind, not kind, pardon, very relaxed and also to, you know, with, with tranquility, if you say like that. Almost like that you are reflecting everything what you happened on the last year. Either you, it's not that you want to bring that to you, but it's like somehow organized. It probably you need also more time for yourself. Courtship, number four, great fortune. Could be that you, you go either out or for a park or to the park, connect with more with, uh, uh, with the nature. That could be also for some of you. Okay. Now romantic. Give me please for January for Scorpio. Just one. Just one. I loved him. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Let go of control issue underneath. Let me put now an intimate, intimate card. Give me please one intimate card for my Scorpio for January. 
Wow, ten of cups, are you kidding? And the nine of wands on the knees. And now that, give me a tarot card and then we will read the energy Scorpio. Four of wands, nine of wands again, are you kidding? I have a here, nine of wands. Okay, and now clarify, let's clarify. No, pardon, one angel card. I like it to make like that, the, the monthly, uh, the, not the monthly, the, within the next few weeks, in the new future. Now let's clarify, just one. Give me one for all these karma love team. No, there are too many. One, just one. For January, three of cups. Again, for once, I take it here. Okay, so something will take place on your home. Uh, Scorpio, uh, in January, big, 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 big. Um, I don't know, could be that someone is coming visit you, could be, again, uh, you thinking to relocate or someone is asking you to re be relocate, could be someone is moving out from someone else and coming to you because I have the three of cups there, pardon here. Um, could be also this person is more is coming visit you more and it's something here that it will take place like happy right away it's something you will feel very happy i don't think that this will happen i think on the beginning of january i think it will take place more ahead during this month in january because again the way you present me, Scorpio, with a nine of uh, with a nine solitude, you show me more like you want more peace on the beginning. Could be also in this month of January, and then all of a sudden something probably will someone will take you out or someone will ask you out. Um, yeah, because here with, within the next week, I don't think again Scorpio it will take place on the beginning of January. I think it will be like by the end of January, if not the be beginning of uh, Aquarius, like between January and, and um, Aquarius season, uh, February season. I don't know why I'm picking up like that. But something here will um, change from solitude, like and now someone is asking you out, someone um, open up. In either you are with someone, Scorpio, someone is starting to open up or wanted to get more attention, but also to um, officialize something more or bring something to the next level. Um, love it, beautiful thing, Jeremy, we really need to say that. Let's see, well, well uh, we know not every, mo every month will be great, but uh, we are used to it, <laughs> right, Scorpio? Uh, Gordon, I don't know if you're here. I guess you're here with me. Copy, let's put that away. Uh, just if you want, um, uh, say to, uh, to the comment which month we are. If just you want, uh, Gordon, just if you want to help me out. I know you will. I know you. Thank you so much, Gordon. And now let's do it for February. Yes, we, had, we need to have some patience because I know it, it will take time, but that's said, it, it, will, uh, it will be a little bit longer today. Aquarius in February. Let's start. Which one first? The Oracle. All right. Let's now start now with February. Pay attention during now I go through the, um, the zodiac sign, the month. Pay attention which, if you know, if you looking that also for your sun, for your ascendant, uh, for your moon, pay attention this month, for example, for example, I'm ascendant uh, cancer, so I'm checking in, in July because I'm the middle of cancer rising, but also the moon, for example, it's I'm Aries moon, I check this in April because I'm in very early degree, degrees of, um, of uh, the, 
Aries. Now, pay attention all the, also this month if you want, of course. Give me, please, uh, Aquarius, February, fertility, underneath prosperity begins. Okay, I don't know, I, I feel here like it's a project. Or could be, of, of, that. <laughs> of course, could be also uh, a new beginning of uh, to work, of work, if you say like that. Fertility, number three, what I'm doing, yeah. I put now a keeper card. Give me please a keeper card. Imprisonment 29 and a high horn 25 on the knees. And then a tarot card, please. My love team for February. Okay, three of swords. Queen of wands on the knees. Now an angel card. Give me please an angel card. What angel has to say for February in Aquarius season? Wait, ask for help for others. And now intimacy card, my love team. Okay, wanna come to uh, the emperor and the six of swords. Okay, you won't like it there where you at. Underneath, uh, what is it? What is it? Um, Sotto de Spada, what is this? Ah, the Ace of Swords, okay, Ace of Swords. And then I start now with the Romantic Oracle cards, my love team. Also to new love and you deserve love. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. And now the last one. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Five of Wands. Okay. Four of Pentacles on the knees. I think you have two scenarios in February. I think that in February you it's um you're not so happy there where you at or what you are going through or how you like something like a result, you won't like it so much. Or you have problem with the boss or a problem with, um, if it's not a boss, it could be also father, father figure. Um, but it's like, no, you because you str struggle there. You're not feeling so comfortable or it's like, this is not what I were used to it. Um, but in the same time, I see here that love is starting to development. But don't struggle too much. Wait, wait a second. Don't don't do something impulsive uh, because you are not so happy where you at. Because it feels like you're not enjoying what you do, or like it's not the same, or it's not what you were expecting. Something like that. And I see you that you really want to free yourself with the six of swords, but you have to wait. Like, you have to go through this and then you can liberate yourself. This is for February. All right. Now. It's something that you have to wait, Scorpio. Uh, because I see it could be also something crea creative. Like you don't feel fulfilled, like, no, this is like, you know, for example, I don't know, a job from eight to five, for example, it's not fulfilling you, something you want to be more creative because you were, you had there the Ace of Swords. So it's not this what you're looking for or what you was looking for. Okay. Now put this away and Pisces now, Pisces reading, uh, not Pisces reading, pardon, Pisces um, uh, month. So, uh, March, huh? All right. Let's see now for Pisces season. Let's see for March. Give me please for Pisces season. Give me for March for Scorpio. Spiritual strength, number nine again, harmony. Harmony? 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 All right, number nine. So it's, it's very Pisces uh, 
very spiritual. Okay, which spices for us is the fifth house. Gift and unexpected income. Lovers on the knees. Okay, number six also. Six and six. Look, look at that, Scorpio. On the knees. You see it? Twice six. Okay. Uh, gift and unexpected gift. I like March. I really like it because when was it? On the 7th of March, I think. Something also will happen. I don't remember what. Listen to your intuition, which Pisces is intuition, and here underneath, wait. Okay. But by the way, 17, uh, it's gift, it's uh, 8. And unexpected uh, income, it's 27. It's a 9, also a 9. Okay. Give me, please. The Hierophant and the uh, Seven of Wands. Okay, be careful. Someone here is starting to be jealous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Or, or you want to push away something or someone. Give me, please, the Romantic Oracle card. Pay attention to the red flags. Soulmate underneath. Give me, please, a, oracle, um, a Tarot card. Ten of Swords. Eight of Pentacles underneath. And the four of wands, okay. Six of pentacles. Someone tries to coming back to you, your environment, Scorpio. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know. For some of you, it could be um, someone has very, very big chance of, of you know, to, uh, to make something happen. Could be also money-wise. But you know, feels, you remember on the over energy I said an investor, investor could be someone wants to invest on your business, someone wants to invest for you, sponsoring you. I don't know, could be. So it could be someone wants to enter into your life that knows you what you want uh, and give you money for an investment. It could be also or someone wants to just come in and stay with you. Reconciliation. Probably that this energy blocked you in the past, or you blocked them, or you guys blocked each other or you know defend like i don't want anymore um either or something in march for sure will happen for sure uh and i think somehow you will be you felt that you or you yeah you felt that that something will happen anyway in march um yeah but it was an ending here or it's a closing it's a, something will come to a close and yeah and listen to your intuition I think that you feel it. You can feel that something will um, be different um, than before. Something will change in March. Okay. Now let's see. For the Aries season, so that means in April. Like I said, April, I think the, the biggest month, uh, Scorpio, will be March, April, and May. Uh, for the collective, not only for us, for the collective. March, April, and May will be big, big change. All right, let's start now. Give me, please, for April, for my Scorpio. Trapped in fear, number eight, and solitude. Give me a keeper card. Mature woman, number six, and main female. Give me a tarot card. Four of swords, knight of swords on the knees. Give me an angel card. It's up to you. Get more information. An intimate, intimate uh, card. Uh, 
Page of uh, Pentacles, okay. And uh, the, the world, okay. Something will take a close. Someone here is not liking it that you are closing. Could be that you're leaving a, a job or you're leaving a home or someone, or you, somehow you are forced to leave a home or you're forced to leave, make the effort, keep an open mind. Clarify, please. Six of Pentacles and the Chair. Yeah, you will go. If it's a job, you will go. Or you say, no, this is not what I want. Like, you, you don't feel that fulfilled at all. <clears throat> because you show me, I feel boring here or I feel not, I don't feel create, uh, in create modus. And again, it's up to you. Depends how you want to create your life. I think that April will change a lot, especially with the eclipses. Now I remember, yeah, the eclipses. We will have solar eclipse, um, if I don't mistake, in uh, in Aries or in Libra. I don't remember. I will. I don't remember. But whatever, it's a solar eclipse. Um, will something will happen? It could be also in your home environment or job, and you will think about. But you because you feel very discontent. So it could be home, could be a job you will leave, or you're going to leave. Or you are forced to leave. That could be also. That could be also. But by the end, you know, with eclipses, every, everything will be fine. Because eclipses, yeah, they are destined. So it's a point of destination, uh, of destiny, if you say like that. So probably, yeah, on that moment feels very annoying. But April will be for sure, will be happen something for sure. Change will happen. Could be by the, on the beginning will be not so pleasant April. But after that, very quick after April, or could be also during April, will be settling down, will settle down uh, easier, much easier. But it's destined. For example, I know in every, in every eclipse, there's something happening in my, in my life, but I guess in all of us, uh, Scorpio, it's very, um, eclipses that can be very, very strong, very strong. Okay, now Taurus, May. Let's see. Let's do now for the Oracle card. Give me please Taurus. Trapped in fear again, spiritual prosperity. Give me an angel card. I take that one. Listen to your intuition again. Choice a new direction. Give me an oracle card, romantic oracle card. Healing family issue. Give me a tarot. Ten of wands. The magician. Mm, can be could be a, a fight in May. Could be a fight. I don't know with who could be with the family. And the Queen of Wands. Okay, and uh, Ace of Swords again underneath. Give me a keeper card. Poverty. Toiler, toiler and labor. Clarify. Eight of Cups, okay. Somehow, I don't know, I'm picking up like that. Could be a fight in May. Could be the 8th of May. The 1st of May. Could be a fight here, Six of Swords. And I think that you are choosing to not uh, deal with that anymore, uh, Scorpio. I don't know with whom. Could be family, but could be also a significant person here. You, you, you tell me, I don't think, I don't think it's a, it's a person, a love person, you know. I think it's a family member. Or like have for some battle. Could be also a parent or, I don't know, the father or the mother for, of your child. If you have children, could be something like that. Or someone here is, is asking, 
you know, probably it could be also someone is asking you to help them with money. Somehow, probably someone has not so much like you do, or vice versa, that you ask for money. If, if I don't know why I feel someone here uh, is asking for help to you, and you are not get it why they're coming to ask you this favor. Like, really? You are the last one that I was um, expecting. Something like that. But yeah, someone here I think in May is asking you for help. And probably some fighting there, like you're saying, no, I don't want to help you. Something like that. It's not because you're stubborn to help, it's because um, I feel somehow that you ha helped them uh, many times. It's not the first time. It's like you have to stand up for yourself. You have to be responsible for yourself. Something like that. And then from there on could be some fight. And you choose to not fight and to just to just to let it be. Alright. Now for June for Gemini season. You know what I'm wondering, uh, Scorpio? Where you spend your Christmas or New Year's Eve? I know, I don't know, everybody spends, uh, celebrate Christmas. But uh, let me know where you spend your Christmas. Uh, no, no Christmas, again, no Christmas. Uh, New Year, New Year's Eve. Or you go out, or I don't know, where, where you do, what you do, with who, where, if you stay there, where you at, or you travel. Let me know, I'm curious. Give me please an angel card for June. Improving health, if you believe. An oracle card, please. Again, this trapped in fear, are you kidding? Spiritual sp uh, strength, okay. Number eight, give me a tarot card. Seven of swords in reverse. Four of Swords. Someone is not giving up. Someone here is asking you. Give me a Keeper card. Well, it came reverse. Expectation 28. Thief. Ah. I don't know. Stay, stay focused in June. I don't know where you, where, what you do. Six of Pentacles. Free yourself. Forgiving and learning on the knees. Clarify. Ten of Wands. Knight of Wands. Okay. I think somehow um, something will stress you out in June that you have to be very careful. Could be very a lot of stress, a lot of busyness. Remember your over energy. Could be a lot of. Um, stress but that could be also that uh, someone is stressing you out be careful with your health in uh, june uh, could be inflammatory could be i don't know um, a virus somehow you don't feel well um, but it's up to you because you have to uh, or you have to come down because you are very busy you remember your over energy um, it's like I, can I do this by myself? Because something that you're handling by yourself, at the same time, uh, you, like your immune system is coming, will be lower. I don't know in June exactly, I don't remember what we have in, in, with the astrology, I don't remember well, but feels here that you will be overload. So be careful in, uh, in June, um, Scorpio. Don't think, you know, because I had the Seven of Swords in reverse, like, don't think, like, I can handle that. Uh, I don't need any help. You remember on your over energy, it was um, let you help or help people want to help you or people ask for help to people. So when it's too much, Scorpio, ask for help. Don't do everything. Don't, don't you know, don't think that you have to do everything by yourself. It's important because sometimes then we will uh, overload 
or energy. And this is this for sure this is no good. Now let's see cancer season. Let's see cancer season uh, for July. Give me please an um, angel card. Remain positive, recovery, you're probably for, from your stress, for your busyness. Could be that you're taking, you go on vacation re with recovery. Three of pan, yeah, it could be that you go on vacation. Five of wands, could be that you go on vacation or you're planning either for a weekend. Universe 21, victory and success, yeah, July will be much better. Much better, much uh, easier. Now is coming this mature man. Now it's coming. Despair. Someone is giving you a support. I think an important person. I have two. The Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. Okay. Someone is coming here to support you. And the King of uh, Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Nice. Now, a uh, romantic oracle co card. Give me, please, a romantic oracle card. Release your ex and calling in your soulmate, the magician Gemini. Okay. Three of Pentacles again on the knees. So I have here three of Pentacles. I think that you go away. Um, <clears throat> release your ex. Something will, uh, something will be free, or you can liberate finally in July. I don't know about what. About me, uh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Now, depends. <laughs> but uh, July could be also that you think uh, going in a vacation that I wanted to go <clears throat> with this person, and now finally I did this, did this by myself. That could be also for some of you. <clears throat> but it looks very fresh. July looks very fresh. Um, also teamwork with uh, people that help you or that you're asking for help or like, like again, it could be also vacation you do with a family member or with kids, I don't know, friends could be also. For some of you, it could be that this mature person, this mature man is releasing also the ex or they're releasing their ex or they're free themselves from the ex. That could be also, but it's nice because with the universe could be also travel, travel around the world or having something with destiny. I like July. I like July. Yeah, I like it. Really like it. Where is it? Here. I like July, which cancer season, it's uh, or also it's uh, our uh, um, water uh, sister sign. I have too many, uh, well, too many, no, it's me, why have too many, no. Having ascendant cancer and Scorpio sun, very emotional. And then when the moon is it's, uh, coming in as my Aries, that can be like, <sighs> you don't want to deal with me when I'm, ha when I'm mad. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you don't want to deal with me. Very fiery. And then I forget all the, all the water signs that I have in my, on, on me. Let's see August. Let's see August for Leo. My love team, please give me for my... Scorpio for August. Justice, Page of Cups. Give me a Keeper card. Okay, came reverse. A message of concern, but is in reverse. And on the niece message, okay, expect um, communication, expect um, a, a message that will shock the heck out of you. Could be uh, justice, could be court, could be uh, citizenship. Double for the romantic oracle card. No, for the um, intimate oracle, um, intimate tarot, and uh, five of pentacles. Give me an oracle card. 
mental conflict and spiritual union give me an angel card in the near future reconsider on the knees give me a romantic oracle card reconciliation who was that I think July free yourself or release your ex someone wants to reconcile with you or because now you I don't know could be someone if it could be also them codependent on the knees uh, wait a second let me clarify before I say something king of cups okay I think someone will enter into your life or to their life I don't know the soonest someone here it um, free themselves they free themselves or someone is really looking for that you free yourself that you are single to come in in your energy uh, but could be also of course that could be also a lot of passion jealousy obsession don't have to bad 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 of course too much when it's to the extreme it's everything not good but it's a lot of passion I don't know why I'm picking up like that of course it's not for everyone but could be here that someone is cheating to someone just to just not for everybody Scorpio you know for example if they have a relationship could be also you Scorpio if you are if you could be could be also the both of you guys could be that if you are you are in a relationship um, could be that you are cheating your partner with your one of your ex or just with someone that could be also or it could be that day cheating it could be the only you're cheating or i don't know both of you guys i don't know i see i don't know why i'm picking up uh, but this will come to the light if this is about cheat this will come to the light with the justice mental conflict is also regret someone regrets here so I don't know Scorpio could be you could be them could be the both of you guys or you going to discover someone that he cheats of course this is the, the extreme but he felt something like that and of course it's not for everybody it's not for everybody but somehow felt like uh, like yeah wanted to have more than just a friend somehow because the message of concern was in reverse so it's not about concern but like feeling happy that someone is going is taking an action to make a contact to contact someone it's not like a shock but it's like a pleasure that someone is contacting the other one all right Virgo season, the, uh, the September now. Give me please for my Virgo, accelerate motion, suffering in silence on the knees, perfect timing, four of cups, and the queen of swords underneath keep an open mind seven of swords seven of pentacles underneath coffin okay wealthy man and that thing this will be soon when pluto will go enter back to Capricorn nine of swords and the star okay I think I think someone here really um, close something will be ending something big time for some of you could be there's some I, I don't know uh, well I don't know mm. 
I don't think it's in your environment. I think it's someone else's environment. Someone is passing away, passing out, passing away, if you say like that. But I don't think it's your environment, Scorpio, in September. I think it's from, it's someone that um, you knew that this would happen somehow. Um, but someone feels like coming to you to have more, more support or they need support from you. September, it's not that, it's, I don't think it's about you in September. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm -mm. I think it's uh, up from the outside, not, not to you. Has nothing to do with you in September. Or talking about something shocking that happened uh, close to you or in your environment, in your community, closest friend, it could be also. I didn't saw that, but something bad will happen in September. Not, not to you, close to you. Of course, it will be not pleasant either, either or, of course. Now Libra for October, my love team. No, I take one. Five of Swords and Devil again. Give me an Angel card. We have then uh, also Eclipse. Yes. Retreat. Give me Oracle card. Choose wisely and Harmony. Give me a Tarot card. Page of Swords, Judgment. <clears throat> Keep a card, my love team. Child, child, pardon, child. And we saw a new over energy. Also children in October. And Judgment again, I have twice Judgment. And the Emperor. <clears throat> I see to, um, uh, many, um, be careful with the child, if you have child. If you have child or children, be careful in October. Uh, something about defend, defend your child, defend or some, I don't know, some troublemaker, someone is going to have some trouble or someone else's child could be also, don't have to be your child or your children <clears throat> or somehow they are putting themselves in trouble, uh, they create some trouble or someone wants to trouble your child or your children, if you say like that. Uh, talk to them if you again if it's not children could be friends could be family members or you know, younger people younger person than you talk to them very important to talk to communicate about this troublemaker someone will have some trouble here in october now again scorpio i don't know if you are your children their children or friends if have nothing to do with children but it's a younger person or younger people it could be also f f group cousin sister f it could be also sibling of course it could be also all right and what i suggest you also scorpio come like i don't even have to see it um again soon but like you know i don't know come again i don't know in three four months and check out what happened in the, the first of three four months on this year could be also at the end of the year you can come back you can come back wherever you want all right scorpio season our season let's see now wondering give me please um emotional will draw three of cups Again, yes. Okay, we got it. Tarot card, ask for help from others. Now it came. It came. Three of Swords. Deception, really. Soulmate. Okay. It will not be so pleasant. Knight of uh, Cups. Oh, okay, but you will get um, an apology, Scorpio. Main female, wealthy man, 
could be power control because then um, Pluto will enter back in Capricorn in the November 19th. This is also power struggle, Ace of Wands, okay. Yes, I think um, something will happen not so pleasant between you and someone, could be a romantic person, uh, of course don't have to be, but it feels that way. Like I need a pause, I need a break, but they are coming to apologize. They are apologizing. And yes, you can tr trust, of course, will be not so the greatest thing. Could be again power struggle you're going through, uh, Scorpio, but it will have a happy end. I need to say that, it will have a happy end. So yeah, November probably will not be so the greatest. Uh, probably will find out something or they will find something out from you, Scorpio, that could be also. Um, but for who did hear something bad, the other one will, uh, will um, apologize. It's nothing very, 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 very big. Probably could be a lie. One lie, of course, one lie is so either already too much. I don't, I am not tolerate lies at all. But you know, sometimes, yeah, yeah. I mean, people's lying, too many people, but yeah, probably, yeah, it will be an, uh, an apology. Now see December, my love team, the last, no uh, the last month. Movement, choices and decision and authority on the knees. Give me a uh, tarot, knight of swords. Unlikely, choose a new direction. The five of swords again and the three of cups, really. Okay, a house could be a children, child again. Could be someone is buying home and relocated with you or wanted to move in with you. Soulmate, healing family issue. Okay, nice. And the seven of swords, five of pentacles. Okay, I think a surprise by the end of December. Um, someone is not talk talking to you. Could be, yeah, they can do it a little bit better. Could be, again, could be also you, Scorpio, that you want to organize a surprise, but here is a surprise by the end of the, the December. And uh, if I don't mistake, on, on my other channel, was the same. By the end of the year, of course, this is the end now of the year, but so for some of Scorpio, it could be also the next year. This is now the end of the year in 2024. Because feels here that this energy um, is aware, um, on, on decisive. If do it with you or without you, or I don't know, like sometimes want it, sometimes don't want it. But with the house here, soulmate, yeah, probably the, you know, very fear of commitment could be also. But with the Queen of Cups, they show me that they love. The love for sure it's here, Scorpio. And the thing is a surprise with authority that will have. And the lovers here, you know, it's a very significant card. I think they will really decide to make a big step ahead, with, uh, which I saw also on your over energy before I start. Scorpio, wow, one hour and 30 minutes, something like that. Very long reading. Now let me go grab a glass of water. Uh, like I said, tomorrow no another English uh, version. I will do next um, next week. I do tomorrow for the Italian language. Let me know if you like this reading. I know a little bit long, but um, for who wants, also Gordon, if you want to put um, a timestamp uh, down below, I will be very, very appreciate that. Thank you so much, Gordon. And uh, guys, we see us next week with um, until the end of the year. Let me know if you want to, if you want the I go live uh, after Christmas um, days, and I will do that for you. And uh, yes, I think I said everything. Thank you so much again for your trust. I come very soon with my trading. Oh yes, take care. Stay safe.